Starting off our list is Guardians of the Galaxy. This film was spectacular. When I first heard this film was coming to theaters, I thought it was going to be horrible. It was going to bomb. It was going to be one of the worst films of the year. But then when I saw it, the colors that exploded on screen were stunning. The chemistry with the cast was brilliant. Chris Pratt's portrayal of Star-Lord was hilarious. It just had this really energetic component to the film that was so entertaining. And there's nothing like this film I've seen before. It's it's set apart from the other Marvel films. I'm not saying it's not attached to it, but I'm saying like it's something fresh we haven't seen before. And that's why this film is on my list. It is absolutely an enjoyable film from start to finish. I am so excited to see the second film when it comes out. This film was just a blast to watch. And I can rewatch it over and over again. Number nine. Thor The Dark World. Now this film was very underrated, I, I, in my opinion. What the film brought, it was, the fir- when the first film came out in 2011, many people didn't like it. And I, I could see why. Because um, by that point, Chris Hemsworth wasn't very well known. But then uh, when the second film came out, I gave it a second chance, and I'm like, okay, I'll walk into this film, and so I I watched it, and I was actually quite entertained. I liked how they put a a very uh, dark tone to the picture, and uh, how they explored the world of um, Thor's character more, and expanding on it. We also got to see Loki return. It was a great film. I also enjoyed how they created new villains instead of just incorporating Loki to be the main villain once again. They showed other uh, bits of it. Um, Number eight. Spider-Man 3. Now this film, (laughs) many people did not like. They absolutely hated this movie. Uh, I loved it. Um, Some of you may disagree with me, saying it's complete trash, but I just liked how they had Venom come into the story. I liked how... I like when it it gets dark in the film, and they don't show always the bright side. They go into... They slip into the dark, and I like that. And so I liked how they had... Uh, Peter Parker kind of descent into his madness in the film. And I thought it was quite brilliant. I thought the action was exhilarating. I thought the uh, acting was enjoyable. And it was an all-around entertaining movie. Number seven. Fantastic Four. (laughs) Yeah, that's my reaction, Fantastic Four. It's a chuckle. Um, So, Fantastic Four... When this film came out in 05, um, I watched the show growing up as a kid, and my expectations was pretty high, I would say. And then I saw Jessica Elba and Chris Evans, and so I thought the film wasn't the strongest out of all the Marvel films, but the reason I put it on my list is because it isn't because... Well, the origin story was quite nice. I liked how they layered that out. Laid that out, actually. Sorry. And uh, I liked the chemistry between the actors. That really clicked. I liked Chris Evans' portrayal as John Johnny Storm. It was... He actually... He's the reason that I enjoyed the film. Because his performance was quite enjoyable. And then years later, he... Portrayed Captain America. Who would have thought? But yeah, this film wasn't as strong, but it's mainly kept me kept me entertained and intact as one whole film for the great on on screen chemistry between the actors. Number six, Captain America: The First Avenger. 
I would have put this film higher on my list, but there's so many great Marvel films to choose from, it's hard to squeeze them all into a tight spot. So, Captain America the Winter Soldier... Sorry, Captain America the, the First Avenger was a phenomenal film. I loved the movie. It was... A, all right. I'm going to try to sum these up in a few words. Okay. So the costumes were amazing. It really fit the time period. I loved these sets and how it made it look like they were in the 1940s. A real time period piece. And then it showed a progress. I, I enjoyed the origin story of Captain America. Very detailed and very down to the point. I enjoyed uh, Tommy Lee Jones being in the film. That was quite... A surprise, I don't think he was really into the whole superhero thing, but it was nice to see him do that. I enjoyed uh, Chris Evans' performance, as always, and, well, Captain America is my favorite, next to Iron Man is my favorite Avenger, so I just really enjoyed it because I wanted this film to really be good, and it was beyond excellent. It's one of the best films I saw of the year. Captain America, the first Avenger, was astonishing. Number five, The Avengers. This film was outstanding. It was one... All right, this film was groundbreaking for cinema because you... Not for a long time, you've gotten a huge amount of actors... Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson. All these actors into one movie. Like, the last film I saw that did that was like, like a huge ensemble cast was probably The Departed in 06 and Ghostbusters with really strong actors. And so then you see these actors go into this big extravagant action movie and you see all your favorite like Marvel characters bash and bash heads together. And I thought that was great. And so I, this is another case of Fantastic Four. I just didn't, I was not entertained with the plot of the film. I thought that Loki shouldn't have been in the film. I know that a lot of people may love his character, but I just think he's being way overused. They should have come up with a new villain. I'm not going to give away any spoilers of the film if you've never seen it, but I just don't think... I thought they should have brought a new villain into the picture, and the reason this film did so well at the box office and a lot of fans enjoyed it, including myself, was because you just got to see those characters just, like, clashed with each other and just, like... And the humor that comes out of some of the arguments was just hilarious. So, that was enjoyable. Uh, the action sequences were quite pulse-pounding. I enjoyed those. And the sets, the score by Alan Silvestri. Oh, oh my god. Beautiful. It's beautiful. The film was great. I loved it. The number four is Thor. I said earlier, Thor was not a good film. I have not said specifically what for, but I did enjoy the movie. Thor was a good film. I enjoyed it. Um, by this point, when it came out in 11, I did not... I have not heard much of Chris Hemsworth's work. I've never not seen him much in anything. And so I went into this blindfolded, not knowing who this actor was, playing this huge well-known character and I was quite intrigued by the backstory that they provided in the film for uh, the God of Thunder and I liked how Natalie Portman came into the picture and like another uh, actress who I never thought would be in a Marvel film like this I also liked the uh, action sequences I thought that was nice. I liked how they put a little bit of humor into it because a lot of these Marvel films are driven by just drama and constant action. And they don't really have time to let you breathe and just, like, laugh. And so this film really gave the capacity for you to actually enjoy yourself and laugh. you can laugh a bit, which I thought 
thought was inter- was very nice. It's an enjoyable film. It isn't the best out of the series, but it is an incredible origin story, I'll tell you that. For number three. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, that's whatever Spider-Man does. Okay, Spider-Man, and I'm not talking the Andrew Garfield one with Emma Stone. I'm talking all the way back, way back when. With Tobey Maguire, when he was a young teenager with the glasses with Carrie Mulligan. Like, the film was amazing because Spider Man is one of the most iconic, so I know, is the most iconic Marvel character, I would say, of the Marvel Universe or any comic ever, next to Batman. And so, when I saw this film, I enjoyed the origin story. I loved how we got to see him build up to how he became Spider-Man. I enjoyed that we got to see him ver- stress out about what the average teenager would be like very uh, stressed over. Like just these very common things that they incorporate into the film also surrounding with the superhero um, concept of it all. And I thought that was enjoyable. Um, but I thought this film was astonishing. I, I could watch it a hundred times and not get tired of it. I wish Tobey Maguire signed on for some other, uh, more sequels of this great franchise. But sadly, he only did three. And, well, we only have these ones to enjoy. But this one, this particular one, is brilliant. For number two, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. This film was freaking phenomenal. The acting, the action sequences, the plot, the costumes, the sets, the score, all of it fell into place perfectly. When I saw this film, I am not a fan of sequels unless I love the first film. And they did the film justice. I will check that sequel out. So I love the first one. I'm like, this the second film better be as good as the first one. And the reason I fell in love with the first movie of Captain America. Second one made me love Captain America even more. The second one, I would consider as the best Marvel movie of all time. But, but, second best Marvel movie of all time because it's just... I'm not saying there's flaws in it. There's no flaws. It's the action sequences was so smooth. It felt like a dance. And it was so like complex. And they had this dark undertone to it. But you don't really notice it because it's more action driven. So like I love the exhilaration of the story and seeing Nick Fury and just oh it was so entertaining. I loved it. I I have I have to buy this film. I have to buy the film on Blu-ray. I've yet to get it, but like the film is so so good. If you know me, I brag about how good the film is like twenty times on a regular basis. It is phenomenal. This is the most recommended Marvel sequel. I would recommend to anyone who likes any good film in general, not just mo- not just superhero movies, just in general. It is outstanding. Now, taking number one spot on my list is Iron Man. This this film is spectacular. The costumes are amazing. The acting is great. The scope of the film is amazing. Just the feel to the picture and the way it was executed makes you believe that they can make a pitch perfect Marvel film. Check this film out. That is my review on the top 10 Marvel movies. Leave your comments in the comment section below. This is Movie Man, signing off.